I don't think we did that much in our act one, even though we took so long. I thought it was gonna be a cutscene or something. Huh. Gandalf? What the fuck? The worlds are merging. Let's check it out. Plaque. We offer our pain to the Lady of Loss, that she may truly Char. know her faithful. Absolutist expedition trunk. All right, girl. Oh, what is this plaque? We offer ourselves to the darkness, that Blessed Shah may give us her mercy. I think we we kind of grinded the first act a lot, <laughs> so I think we will be good for the rest of the game. I think we'll be good. Who's that? Weary traveler. Let's talk to the weary traveler. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Elminster Omar. I think some proper introductions are in order. Meet Elminster Omar. A good friend of mine, but rather more significantly... He's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Hmm. Am I indeed? Most famed and respected errant boy, more like. <laughs> I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it? Taking in Bagabond. <laughs> yes, Gail, where's oh, your decorum? For the love of... Uh, well, this way, then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 <laughs> centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more yeah, disposed to I'm, speak plainly I agree. once it's stopped its grumbling. I'm getting hungry. Very well, I suppose I'm as curious as you are to hear what he has to say. A wise choice. Yeah, Better let's go. to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Uh, we'll start Act 2 with Elminster. Elminster. I might talk to Elminster and then cut, cut it quits for this session. Call it quits. Call it. Cut it. Oh yeah, cut it and call it. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plan to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Right. Um... You see... I... Um... Well, that is to say, Gale, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are the hers. charge. What message and what charge would the that be? long-awaited question. Now, if you please, Elminster, <laughs> for sure. For the too long-awaited answer. You know where you went wrong, Gale. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistress hmm. would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. 
Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute, that Ooh. most insidious of evils. I know, man. If the, even the gods know, why are we facing they these threats They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what waves we are building up to be. Do not discount yourself. And by the same token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the Absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress belief that only you can. <laughs> I will be the absolute destroyer. Hogwarts, I mean Hogwash. I don't believe in false hopes. Gale alone, Yo. how so? Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We mm. shall have to see. You must find the heart of the Absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the um, catalyst that will burn it from this mm. world. That's monstrous, you're asking him to not. kill himself. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend, but such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My Nahastra Mistra Italian Thras Annas It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. We're still a long journey ahead. We'll or find some another other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion <laughs> okay. born in lonely hours come, ebb, come, flow, come, all. That is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Hmm. We gotta talk to him. Stabilize Gil's Nether East Orb. Yeah, this is not. Not good. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. I'd always imagine Elminster to be more imposing. The doddering act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms. Perhaps in existence. For Mistra mm. to have sent him. 
The severity of her bidding could not be clearer, or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. You're seriously considering doing what Elminster said? We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate wow. will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. I don't understand. Can Mr. Just destroy the absolute or El Mr. himself? I doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. So that's it? You're on the suicide mission? Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time, in more ways than one. Perhaps... Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. You're not blowing yourself up. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. Hmm. I don't know. Doubt it. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, since we're in the camp, let's just end the day. Long rest. Ooh, I got. Woo! People want to talk. Let's go to Asterian first, then we'll go to Karlak. Asterian. This dark land Rubber. must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect mm. praying ground for a devil. Who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. What do you want to see Help me find him, and you'll find out. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now, now I know what to ask for. What? Full of bad ideas though you are, this is definitely one of the worst. <laughs> That's quite the achievement. But trust me, I know what I'm doing. I'm sure he'll turn up at one point or another. <laughs> I just like messing with this theory, but we're like polar opposites. <sighs> hey soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. <sighs> you okay? My engine. It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. Mm. <laughs> we need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought mm. of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. Yeah, you're tough. I won't overpower you. Tell that to the Inferno where my heart was, soldier. Actually, don't. I don't want to piss it off. <laughs> It'll be okay. Alright, I think we're good. Go to bed. Yeah. The dreamer. The voice of the absolute is strong here. There you I'm go. getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. <laughs> you took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. <laughs> That's true. I didn't do it for them. The gods were in my way, so I killed them. I did what I could, but I'm not sure they'll survive out there on their own. It wasn't even a choice. They needed my help. Not everyone would have helped. runs deeper than she's willing to show you. 
Are you alright? Yes. yes, I am. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves insane. of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. <laughs> Snoring. <sighs> Owl bear cub. How you doing, boy? Camp life seems right, to suit everything? the young owl bear. His coat of mm. feathers seems fuller. His eyes look bright and inquisitive. Pet him. Nice. Nice. All right, let's go. I guess we'll leave camp. Yeah, guys, so thank you again for watching. I don't know if this is going to be one episode or if it's going to be part of the episode itself. But we're going to keep exploring all this crap. So in this act, act two, I don't think I'm going to be as thorough as I was in act one. I mean, it literally took us a shit ton of time to get past act one. Half a year. No, <laughs> no it took us a lot of a long time. Hopefully, I'll be able to give you guys act two faster than act one. And uh, moving on to act three. I can, I, can, I can barely see it. I can barely see Act 3 right now. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching, keeping up with the episodes. And I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Have a good one. Bye-bye.